Um, I need coffee. That's what I need right now. Um, you're going to be hearing random music in the background. That is my 10 month old playing with his weird little baby iPod toy thing. Yeah. Oh, hot. Today is August 30th, 2016, and I shaved the side of my head. Uh, I figured I would put up some video. Uh, I've had my, sha my head shaved before. I did it in college, except for I did uh, both sides all the way down. So, um, yeah, I like to change my hair often. So, you know, it's changed. It was purple not too long ago. It's back to black. I've been wanting the black back. Um, but I uh, didn't want to do just straight black. So it's shaved. Yay. I, uh, I like it. I don't know. It was, I like shaved my head and realized my head, I don't like the shape of it. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't remember that from last time I shaved it, but anyway, here's some video of me shaving my head. Goodbye, hair. It's done. Now I just get to clean up the mess. Take a shower. It's a little weird right here. I may end up shaving that some more, I'm not really sure. But it's done, yay! I'm gonna have to get used to parting my hair on this side because I've been parting, well I part my hair, but then I've been parting my bangs and my bangs have been swooshing this way. Uh, so that'll be, it takes some getting used to swooshing it the other way. Uh, so I don't feel like there's ever really a whole lot that's exciting in my life because I work from home and I take care of our son and, um, I don't get out much, not like I used to, which is kind of a bummer, but, um, we have been house hunting. If you've watched the last few, uh, videos, we talk about our house hunting process. We've been doing this for, I don't know, probably since February or March, I think March, and it's now August, and uh, it's kind of depressing because uh, Los Angeles is so very expensive, and um, <laughs> we, we can really afford, like, South Central Los Angeles. Um, <clears throat> if I didn't have such insane student loans... Um, yeah, thanks, Ringling. Uh, if I didn't have such insane student loans, I would really be able to help financially, uh, and we'd be able to get a better house, house in a better area. Um, however, I pay so much each month in student loans that it's, we can only count my husband's income because my income goes to, uh, paying my student loans and, uh, baby supplies and stuff so it's kind of depressing and Los Angeles is so expensive so we went and looked at two houses this weekend um, one of them was it was a really sketchy situation um, so we're just gonna like the house was nice but uh, we were getting weird vibes from the whole thing there was no selling agent there. There was no official like open house, even though people were milling around the house. Usually they put an open house sign out in the front yard. Um, and then there's a selling agent there who, you know, will answer any of your questions. And this was not the case. It was really weird. Um, so we're probably going to pass on that one, even though it was within our price range. Uh, and then um, there was one house in Lawndale that we really liked, uh, but they were uh, 
this is another weird situation that the selling agent handed everybody a piece of paper and said, you know, put your bid in today. We're going to take the top two bidders and then we're going to continue negotiations on at that point. Um, so we put a bid in for, you know, what we could afford reasonably and uh, we didn't get a call that night. So unfortunately that didn't happen. We're still waiting to hear, um, there's a, we call it the Western style home. It's a probate home in, um, kind of it's kind of by Ladora Heights um, or it is Ladora Heights I can't remember anyway um, we have had our eye on this house for quite some time actually we originally put an offer on it in May uh, but probate homes take a very very long time uh, because it, I've explained this in previous videos so I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself but a probate home is when uh, the owners of the home pass away. They don't have anybody to pay the, or to pass the house down to, so it's owned by the state. And anything that takes, you know, is government, whatever, it takes forever. Um, so it goes, someone's got to put a, uh, an offer on it, and then they go through escrow, and then it goes to auction um, at court. And then anybody can show up to the court date and put in, um, you know, do the auction. So uh, somebody else, we put an offer in, it wasn't accepted, but somebody else put an offer in that was accepted, but that doesn't mean we're out of the running. So it went through escrow and now we're waiting for a court date to get set up because we want to show up and we want to, you know, bid in the auction. Um, the issue now is uh, it's been, the house has been on the market for almost a year. And so the state wants to get it reassessed for its current values. Um, <laughs> So it just takes forever. So it's just, it's been a long process. Um, you know, but in the meantime, we're looking for other homes and it's just uh, depressing. And, um, you know, it's like, at what point do we just stop looking for homes and use that money maybe to pay off loans? I don't know. Los Angeles is so expensive. It's really depressing because we both work here, you know, uh, Tom's family's from Orange County, um, so he'd like to stay local. Um, as much as I'd like, you know, I try to convince him that there are other amazing places in the United States to live, he just isn't interested. So, so we're in Los Angeles here for now. You know, we have an amazing community, an amazing church that we uh, love being a part of, um, and that's something that we're not in a hurry to leave. So, um we love that kind of stuff. Uh, if you look at the last two videos, I have posted work in progress for a costume design. So I am currently working on three costumes for myself, my husband, and my child for his one year birthday party, <laughs> which is going to be birthday slash costume Halloween party. Uh, because what one year old really actually remembers their birthday? No, none of them. So uh, we're going to have like a barbecue for all of our friends and family in the park. And it's going to be on the 29th of October. So the Saturday before uh, Halloween. So we figure people can come in their costumes, have barbecue, and then, you know, in the evening go off to their Halloween parties that they're they're going to be having fun at. So, um, yeah, so that's that's fun. Uh, you can You can look at the progress I've been making in those. Uh, it's kind of died off a little bit. Um, my my momentum for working on that stuff has died off a little bit because we rearranged our house and the setup isn't quite as good for me to be able to pull stuff out and make a mess. Um, it's a little more cramped now that the bed is in the living room. <laughs> uh, so that's kind of made, made my progress slow down a little bit. Uh, but I'll get back into it. I, yeah, I don't have a whole lot of time. I only have like, what, a month? and a half a little bit over a month and a half to get things done so got to get going um i still need to go to a thrift store because i need to get a suit for my husband uh for his jack skellington costume because why make one if you can just buy one from a thrift store and then modify it um so that's my goal is to buy one from a thrift store and modify uh, yeah uh so one thing i've been struggling with lately is I think I have got eczema on my scalp. It's driving me absolutely nuts. 
I have a patch in my ear and this patch in the back of my scalp that um, I didn't realize that's what it was. I kn knew that this patch in my ear was eczema because um, eczema cream is the only thing that seems to help calm it down. Um, that was by trial and error that I figured that out. But this patch on the back of my head, I didn't really, I just knew that it was constantly scratchy and uh, would scab and stuff. Um, yeah, I know that's kind of gross. Um, but I didn't realize, I don't know, I just didn't make the connection to eczema. And then I was in New Jersey with uh, my family and my aunt had mentioned that she had uh, patches of eczema on her head. And I thought, maybe that's what's going on with me. So I, um, I need to, I was hoping changing shampoo would help to like, uh, you know, head and shoulders or something that kind of deals more with that stuff. But so far has not made any difference whatsoever. So I'm going to make an appointment with a um, dermatologist to see if I can get some help because it's driving me insane and I feel like it's getting worse. <sighs> yeah, it's annoying. Ugh. Maybe this morning wasn't the best time to do this uh, video because I'm really like out of it or tired or I don't know. I don't know if I have much to talk about. I just wanted to show off my cool shaved head. Anyway, okay. This isn't really an exciting video. Sorry. Not, I don't know if any of them are. It's just me rambling and who really wants to watch that? I don't know. Okay. Um, maybe after I wake up a little bit more, we'll do something else. Talk to you later. Bye.